Okay, so here we're looking at the Synapse 2 where we can set macros. So I have a macro here called Hide Other Apps and it performs a keyboard um, sequence for a shortcut that cycles through Windows. So I assign that to my middle mouse wheel. So when I go over here and I click my middle mouse wheel, it'll change Windows cycle. Now there's also a neat mouse function called on the fly sensitivity where you can hold this button down and it will change the sensitivity as you scroll. So let me show you on the screen. I will press the mouse button and then I can scroll and it increases the sensitivity. So that's, that's a pretty cool thing. I like using the clutch or stages where I create predetermined sensitivity stages so if we do cycle up sensitivity okay now every time every time I hit that button it'll go through and cycle through my different stages that are predetermined I have my first one at really low for doing Photoshop stuff. And then two is middle of the road and three is pretty sensitive for games. So I'll show you how that looks. I click, 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 click. Those are my three stages. And you can see in the program, as I do the same, it jumps to each stage. So, there's the new mouse, and it glows on and off. Which is nice. It's right-handed. It's already sweaty. You can see some sweat marks on it. So we'll see how much gunk it accumulates over time. And these two buttons I have. I wish there were more buttons. These two are set for back and forward. I use a lot of web browsing and often use the back button. I could probably use the, the forward button for something else, but the back button is almost necessary for my online business. Anyway, there's the business expense. Well worth it.